Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. Last time we left off, we kind of we went through a chapter zero, which was kind of like a oh there's a Mokuma thing there. Maybe there is Mokuma uh, things here. But um we went through a chapter zero where we played or we, it was it was a conversation between Komaida and some unknown person talking about, you know, God knows why, like getting a saying uh, like the guy saying uh, how boring everything was and how he can't participate in these upcoming events. So it makes me think that person must be like the true leader of everything here. But then we entered the school. Like here we are at Hope Speed Academy, just like the first game. And can I collect? It? Yeah, I can. I thought they didn't have any um, Morikuma things in this um, chapter, but okay. I guess I'll keep my eye out for that. So there's that. Hmm. All right then. I guess we have to go do some so social studies because that's what Monokuma said. We gotta do our graduation exam, whatever the hell that meant. I are we in like the fourth or fifth floor now? Okay. Yeah, we're on the fifth floor. It says five A. All right. Huh? That's strange. Earlier when I was going to the gym, this hallway it's totally different now. Is this one of Monokuma's tricks too? Is he? trying to mess with us again? I don't know how the hell he did it, but man, he's a persistent bastard. But I don't, uh, I don't, I won't lose to those kind of uh, tactics. Does he really think this kind of thing is, uh, is enough to keep me from moving forward? Uh, well, honestly, if I was, what's his name, right? If I was, um, um, if I was, uh, Hinata right now, I'd be freaking out. Even the screen is going, like, all wiggly-wobbly right now. It's odd. Sakura Sonia. This hallway, does it not give you a strange feeling of discomfort? Almost if there's, uh, there, uh, they are, uh, there are invisible walls in, in, in place to limit our actions. Or perhaps I'm mistaken. No, you're not, because there are invisible walls. And I'm actually going to check this out. This is like... Those are classroom. That was the biology lab, I believe. Seems like I can't go in there. No. So yeah, that's, that's the biology lab, and... No, the bio, not the biology lab, it's the, the morgue. Which, well, yeah, it ended up being the morgue, you know, it wasn't supposed to be like that, but... Actually, no, it is a biology lab, but it was a lab, but that was a morgue. This is the whole greenhouse. And then uh, this... Oh, the dojo's open! Okay. So this game's kind of like telling us, hey, you need to go here. The martial art hall. Or the dojo, whatever. Is this a dojo? It seems pretty out of, out of place in the school. Although, I guess it is. It, it was stupid enough for me to expect it to be a normal normal school in the first place. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can find any Monokuma things first. Okay, something tells me I'm just simply missing it. Checking... Like... Maybe he's like hidden in the trees somewhere. I'm obviously not seeing it. Or it doesn't seem like it. I was thinking like maybe here somewhere, but no. Okay, let's just check out the cherry trees. Huh? There are sakura blossoms everywhere, or however you want to say it. The trees are in full bloom. Sakura blossoms in a dojo. It might be a tasteful sight, but in this kind of situation, it's just strange. Hmm. There are some targets way over there. If I had time, I could probably play a mini game here. What the hell am I even saying? Okay. There's a row of wooden cabinets. Each cabinet has a piece of wood stuck in, uh, into it. That must be the there, that must be the key. But I'm pretty sure there are no clues here. Well, it was a clue in the beginning. Um, let's check out this stuff. It's armor. Maybe they just decorate this place with whatever comes to mind when you think of Japanese things. Possibly. Now this is the thing that's like, what the hell is it? Huh? What's this? It looks like a manga. The title says, Understanding Host Peak, with manga. Okay. Well, what's such a weird book doing lying around on the floor? Oop, boop, boo! Your, your history lesson has to has to come first, you know? Mangas are the third best, best way to learn history. Guess what the first is? That differs from person to person! Of course, Monokuma put this here. It all makes sense now. I want to ignore it, but that's probably not a good idea. Fine. I'll look at it. 
If I can just get a clue to help us go back home, I'll try anything. <laughs> this just reminds me of something Yamada might actually enjoy. I picked up the book from the floor and started to flip through the pages. The first page showed an inexplicably mo character to introduce the content material. Uh, the History of Hope's Peak Academy, well, which is the History of Hope's Peak Academy. It begins with a preface about the school itself. Hope's Peak Academy is a special government-authorized school which only admits students with special talents. Its goal is to bring up these students as the hope which will shoulder the nation's future and numerous Hope's Peak graduates hold high-powered and influential positions in all walks of life. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hold on a minute, I think if I skip something there. Whatever. New students must be recruited by scouts, and these scouts are the faculty of Hope's Peak, and not all, and not only educators of the talented, but the researchers of talent as well. Um, Hope's Peak is not just a school for the talented, but serves as a talent research facility as well. Uh, however, in the past several years, Hope's Peak has been confronted with several shortages, shortages of fund. The administration convinced it that the school would be unable to carry out its research into talent under such financial constraints, implemented a certain system to raise the necessary money. This was the Reserve Department. Unlike the Hope's Peak students, who are selected by specific faculty scouts, the Reserve Department's admission process is open to the general public. Additionally, the teachers for the Reserve Department are simply ordinary teachers, hired from the outside of school. Moreover, the tuition and fees for students in the Reserve Department were significantly steeper than of other students. Despite this, however, there was a long line of Hope's Peak hopefuls waiting to get in. This is due to the doors of Hope's Peak. Uh, this is due to that the doors of Hope's Peak could open to even the talentless pub public. The strength of its brand uh, brought a crowd of applicants to, to school. In this way, Hope's Peak uh, Academy was able to raise enormous funds and research its, uh, its and resume its research into talent. This is all in order to accomplish the goal of which Hope's Peak was founded: to birth the true genius, which would. Um, which would uh, bring hope to humanity, or become the hope of humanity. However, before that happened, Hope's Peak was overwhelmed by a disaster of an unprecedented level. This was the trigger of the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of mankind. The worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. Swallowed by this disastrous event, unsuccessful in fulfilling its end goal, the curtain fell for Hope's Peak Academy. The end. Huh? The ending feels like a comic strip that got cut off in the middle. And those phrases at the end. The worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of the mankind. And the most despair-inducing incident in the history of Hope's Peak Academy? Those names sound totally absurd, like something right out of fiction. That can't be real, can they? This manga only lists the names of the events, so I'm not sure exactly what happened, but... No. I shouldn't waste time worrying about what I don't know. Instead, I should think of what I, sh uh, what I did learn from this thing. The Reserve Department. So they basically created just because they were running out of funding. I was one of those students, wasn't I? Hmm, it's strange. It's you again. Oh, the strange, the, uh, the strange thing is you, by the way. What? I wonder why you didn't remember the fact that you were in the Reserve Department. All that the future and all that the future foundation stole from you was your memories of your school life, right? But shouldn't you have known even before starting school that you had no talents? I thought it was strange you you had forgotten that. How the hell should I know? Hmm. I'm guessing either the Future Foundation wanted to keep your reserve uh, status a secret, or or you yourself repressed the memory intentionally. What? You wanted to be able to be proud of yourself, so you shrouded the shameful parts of your of darkness in your uh, of yourself in darkness. After all, they say that humans tend to erase painful facts from their memory. That kind of thing happens all the time. Maybe. But I don't know. So you mean it's my fault I forgot it? Don't make me laugh. Of course, as soon as things start getting pear-shaped, you start yelling. Well, what more could you expect from a reserve student? Fuck. What the hell? So now we have the reserve department uh, information. Okay. I guess that's all we're going to get here. So... Go back out, see what else is open to us. Um, is a yeah, is a greenhouse open? No, it's still not open. I think uh, yep, there he is. So does here. This hallway kind of makes me feel uncomfortable. You can't go back to places you've already been, and it feels sort of like um, how do I put this? Like someone's making it follow some making it follow some specific route. 
Huh. It kind of feels like they're invisible walls or something, you know what I mean? No, I know exactly what you mean. That's what's kind of weird about everything going on here. Oh! Room 5A is open. Okay, let's check it out. Hmm. Well, there's really not much to look at here at all, besides, obviously, some to some form of book there. Just looking around the room, make sure I don't uh, don't see anything. But um, okay, let's take a look at this then. It's another manga. There's a manga on top of the desk. Let's see. This one says, "Understanding the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of Hope's Peak Academy with manga." The world's most despair-inducing incident in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. It must be the thing that was mentioned at the end of the last book, right? The thing that brought about the end of Hope's Peak also set off the worst, most inducing incident in the history of mankind. I wonder if this book will tell me more about that event, too. I began to flip through the pages of the book on top of the desk. It seems to explain the mysteries of this event. With its over-exaggerated name, the world, the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of man, blah, 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 using a cast of unrealistic characters from an outdated picture book. The drawings in the book showed... As the name indicates, the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of Hope's Peak Academy occurred at Hope's Peak Academy. This incident is centered around a student named... Who? Kamu... Kamukuru Izuru? Kamukuru Izuru. Wait, Kamakura Izuru. Kamukura Izuru? I'm, I'm saying that name over and over again, but that doesn't sound familiar at all. Kamakuru could have been called the emblem of Hope's Peak. Brought up to the school with great dedication, possessed of uh, incredible talents, a genius among geniuses. Uh, Kamukura seemed to be the ultimate talent, which seemed to be which could be called the hope of humanity, and the school considered them to be so. They called him, called them the super high school level hope. In order to protect this unprecedented talent, the school kept all information about uh, Kamukura a secret. Consequently, the school's students knew nearly nothing about Ka uh, Kamukura's existence. After that student, that symbol of hope ended up ca ca causing a sudden dreadful event. All 13 members of the student council, a council composed of the school's most elite members, were murdered by Kamukura. However, the incident did not end there. In order to protect uh, Kamukura, who possessed such excellent and superior talent, the school concealed the murders. However, a certain student uh, used the incident to begin their secret plan. That student used the cover-up to incite the students of the reserve department, who had long held resentment against the school, into an insurrection. Okay, this was the prelude to the collapse of Hope's Peak. Uh, Hope's Peak. This was the whole truth of the whole most, world's most despair-inducing event in history of Hope's Peak Academy. Eventually, this turned into an even more dreadful and gory event. It was to become, the, it was to become what will be called the worst, most despair-inducing event in the history of mankind. Huh. Apparently, it says Source Danganronpa Zero. Which I believe is actually a book you can, actually can read, like, available to buy and everything for us. Um, but I never actually read it or anything, so... It must be interesting to actually find out more, like, backstory of all this. The heavy sigh, I've closed the book. Am I seriously supposed to believe this? To kill 13 people? Do you think that such a thing could happen at Hope's Peak? Ah, uh, ain't that ironic? I mean, the fact that a super high school level genius could do something like that, it, it just goes to show, uh, goes to show a too great a talent can eventually hurt society. Just like how we can buy, we can, we can't buy juice of a gold nugget. Oh, 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 it's a good thing you're, you're no talent, Hinata, then. Fuck. You just followed me around trying to get, get on my nerves. Annoying little shit. But... Super high school level hope. That's what Komaida used to used to always talk about, but this seems to mean something completely different. Komaida meant actual hope. And that Kamakura person's hope really meant talent. They were a, a ge uh, they were a genius who had all kinds of talents. I wish I could just I could just have one of them. Then I wouldn't have gone I wouldn't have had to go to the reserve department. That's right! The reserve department! Instead of the reserve department, it led a, led a rebellion! What did I do? 
Surely, I couldn't have been part of that. No, there's no way. There'd be no reason for me to, to do something like that. Okay. Odd. In any case, at least now I know that the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of Hope's Peak was, but the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of mankind must have been way worse, right? What the hell happened? And the other student that, that was mentioned, that, um, not Kamukura, but who was that student who was, who was behind everything? Hmm, I think I know who that was. All of this sounds unbelievable, and it seems like each riddle just brings new and, new and bigger ones. It's like a riddle in a, uh, a riddle inflation crisis. This is so odd. So, and I remember we saw that huge, like, when we were investigating the fifth floor for the first time, we saw all that blood and everything that happened in this room, actually. Or no, it wasn't, it wasn't in 5A, it was, uh, it was in this room, right here. So, could that be the whole event where apparently that Kama, Kamakura, uh, whatever his name, Zulu, whatever, killed all those people? I don't know. I don't know, but there's actually more. It seems like, yeah, the biology lab is the one that's open. Let's take a look in there. This is very, very odd. What's the hell? What the hell's up with this room? It's unreasonably clo cold. It's like being in a freezer. I feel like if I stay here too long, I'll freeze. I better look around quickly and get out of here. Oh man, if this really is Hope City Academy, then does that mean our the kids from the first game are right here? Oh, hey, look! Little cool thing. God. You know. There is something that I want to say what everything could be, but I'm just kind of being quiet right now because I, I, I don't want to definitely say it and watch it, watch it being like the actual plot to the whole of this, you know, but uh, whatever. Why is this thing out here? Uh, come on, at least try to stay organized. Okay. I've seen this thing before in a movie or TV drama. Those fridges for those fridges for corpses is what it looks like, but it can't be. You can't even joke about leaving corpses in a biology lab. It's so irresponsible that you can probably you, you probably couldn't for, uh, forgive it. There's no way out of the question. No matter how many people should die during a construction, huh? What am I even thinking about? You tell me. Well, there seems to be another manga here. This is a really kind of creepy looking thing. Um, it's another manga. This one's called Understanding the Worst, Most Despair and Distant Incident in the History of Mankind with manga. Of course, this would be uh, would be next. The Worst, Most Despair and Distant Incident in the History of Mankind. I, I wonder what happened. Maybe it wasn't actually that big of a deal. Oh, well, we'll see. Praying that, that this was the case, I began to flip through its pages. Seriously, that's kind of creeping me out now. Even the cover is scary for the book about this gory incident. The, the worst, most despair-inducing incident in history of mankind. Maybe it's because the incident really was that bad. Anyway, this depressing manga's introduction began with a sentence. The worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of Hope's Peak Academy did not end there. While it was expected that the starting point in the world, the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of Host Peak, the insurrection of reserve uh, students would soon be quelled, the truth turned out to be quite the opposite. With their activities through the internet formed a unique and close-knit community. Um, this movement did not stop at students who, uh, and grew to transcend barriers of ethnicity of race and race, and was not confined merely to the online world but spread to, into the physical. Initially, the movement was no different from several other so, um, uh, social protests, but as it continued to spread, a strange transformation took place. Before anyone was aware of the severity of the situation, the former goal of the protesters had simply become a means to an end. What remained was senseless destruction and violence. The strong slaughtered the weak, the weak slaughtered the weakest, while the weakest banded together to smash the strong. Following the spread of this violence and death, the value of human life vanished, and almost like society was regressing in time, death became a certainty. 
The media continued to con c cover the constant deaths, and people would, cover would watch the coverage as they ate dinner. Um, by, well, by the time that the world had realized the intensity of the crisis, the situation had already deteriorated to an extent that was nothing to be done. It was as if despair had turned into a wave that had swallowed the world in an instant. Soon, as many parts of the world were rocked with acts of terrorism and government overthrow, a war waged in the name of despair. It was not a war thought, fought for ideals, or religion, or wealth, but it was just a war. Outright war. And so, there was no way to fully combat the problem. However, how did a mere struggle led by, a stu led by students turn into such a despair-inducing disaster? The reason for that was the presence of a certain organization. It was a group centered around a certain student, which led to a bre breakdown of Host Peak Academy, one which called itself the Super High School Level Despair. They used their talents, for which they had been recognized and picked, up and picked by Host Peak, not for the hope of humanity, but for the despair of humanity. Those who had held the powerful authority into the world brainwashed the public to spread despair. Those who were skilled with computers created software to spread despair. Those who were able to influence the world advocated new values to spread despair. In this way, the members of this group were able to produce the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of mankind. So it is. Until Super High School level despair disappears, this despair will not end. The worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of mankind will not end. Despite my height my rising heart rate, I felt incredibly cold. Not because of the room, but... What the hell is the worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of mankind? What the hell kind of... If this is true, then what happened to the world outside of the island? Our family, our friends, our relatives, the convenience stores by our, our houses, the bookstores, the ramen houses... What the hell happened to all of them? Hey, screaming out loudly about a manga, you must have really got into that thing. Who said I got into anything? My goodness me, do you not like manga? A high school student who doesn't like manga, it's like a secretary who hates sweet stuff. Hmm, I guess it's like a stereotype, so... Okay. Uh, stop it! What the fuck is this manga? Oop, 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 oop. If it was a fearsome enough event to destroy the world, you should know about it too. It really is despair-inducing you can't remember. That's the Future Foundation's fault, too! Those bastards stole the memories of your school lives, so your memories of that incident vanished totally as well! You're trying just to say this happened, and moreover, that we all just forgot about it? There's no way! All of the clues you'll find in this place are completely true! How many times have I told you? Also, I know this. I just want to cheer you guys along. After all, you have to know all about, all about the outside world before you leave, or else it'll just be you who suffers. This, um, this is all to make sure you're actually prepared to live in the outside world! That's right. That's what he said at the start. And he says, like, it's hard being a principal. No one understands. I'm proud of you for graduating from the Dominion. On the other hand, I worry, too, if you're really prepared to go out into society. So I want you to, I want you to make a decision if you want to stay here on the island or leave. Huh. Trying to make us despair in the outside world, so we'll stay on the island. But it won't be like what you—it won't be like what you want. No despair can be uh, can be that strong, since the outside world must be filled with hope too, just as it's been up to until now. I'm sure of it. There's no doubt. Ah. Let's see, man, my foot got numb. Damn it, it sucks. Apart from whether or not this incident is real, what could that super high school of despair be? If it's centered around that student who destroyed Hope's Peak, then those bastards must have been involved in the worst, most despair-inducing history of Hope Peak as well. The most, the mo worst, most despair-inducing incident in the history of mankind. Like already together, it sounded like uh, not just one student, but an entire organization. But if they were called super high school of despair, that means they must have been high school level students, right? Could high school students really do something like that? Well. They must, they must have been called Super High School level, uh, Levels because they could, but if so, then the murders that we've been caught up to must be related to... Oh, I can't do this! I'm about to freeze to death! Let's get out of here for now! Shivering from the cold, I ran out of that freezer-like room. Phew! 
thought I was gonna freeze to death. But where do I go now? Hmm. Well, where do we go now? I mean, these rooms are still locked. So I can check the uh, greenhouse. Nope, locked. Been, uh, we've already been to the dojo. Have I been in a 5B? Uh, I don't think I have. I don't know. Wait, Martial Art Hall? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Let's just ignore them. For, let's just ignore him. For now, I'm gonna have to pretend I don't even see that guy. Of course, it's not my Morokuma there, but... Make sure there's no other figurine. Actually, my god, I'm already at 26 minutes. Alright, guys, um... I guess next time we'll just continue with the investigation. This is... I don't know what the hell could be going on. I mean... Unless, yeah, if we believe him when he says everything in those mangas is true, then... This really... Brings out more of the lore and story of Danganronpa, what happened beforehand, you know. We thought we got, like, a good chunk of the story simply from the first game, but it seems like this will just definitely delve into it more, like... This whole rebellion against the students, and... But that leading to what we saw in the first game, I don't, I don't know. Oh boy. I guess we'll just uh, figure out that next time. So, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Super Danganronpa 2. I'll see you guys later.